Item number four, Yuba City Landscape Man Maintenance District number one, Stabler Lane Garden Highway area. Yuba City Lighting and Maintenance District number two, three, four, and five. That would be the town center and 69 subdivisions throughout Yuba City. And Yuba City Lighting and Landscape Maintenance District number six, which is our commercial district. Presented by Mr. Ben Moody, Public Works Director. Through the Deputy. Mayor. Through the Mayor. Uh, I have to recuse myself because I live in uh, District Number 4. Okay. And I'm in District 4 as well. Both uh, asking to be recused. Please step to the back. Fire away, Ben. All right, yeah, real similar to the last item. Um, these areas, landscape and lighting maintenance districts. So these areas pertain to uh, parkway strips and, and different um, and sound walls and different uh, medians that also include landscaping within the districts besides lighting. So with that, this item, um, basically we're before you to conduct a public hearing and after consideration of the item, adopt a resolution confirm the diagram and assessment and levy the assessment for fiscal year 16, 17 within the Yuba City Landscape Maintenance Districts 1 and Lighting Landscape Maintenance Districts 2 through 6. Annually, we come forward to you. This is um, to uh, evaluate those districts and, and then go forward with a recommendation. St again, staff's goal is to set um, uh, a levy that keeps the price from fluctuating drastically and keep a, a reserve balance within about 50% of the expenditures. As we discussed at the last meeting, um, some of these districts, uh, the reserve balance is, is higher and staff is working on looking at those, but also um, there's consideration that each of those, each of those small districts, we, keep, we like to keep a certain amount of money in there in case a street light or some major repair needs to be taken care of. It's, um, where, where a street light costs ten thousand dollars or a reserve balance for um, a wall where there's a certain amount of money in there besides just the operating expense um, we, we went through um, staff finance department and worked with uh, parks and with our consultant to go through those areas and, and to work towards uh, the council's goal to um, kind of work, have a 50 percent um, value and not to fluctuate the levies so with that um, our recommendation is to conduct a public hearing after consideration of the item, adopt a resolution confirming the diagram assessment and levying the assessment for 1617 pursuant to the Landscaping and Lighting Act 1972. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Any questions of Ben before this opens to public hearing? To the mayor. Okay. Ben, I do have one question. On district number one, the revenues were 87841 and expenditures were 130187 Is uh, And all the rest of them seem to be pretty much in line with, with what the revenues are. This one was quite a bit higher. What What is the reasoning for that? So, so with this district 1B, is um, it, it mainly composes of the, um, the median strip up Garden Highway. And when that district was formed, Unfortunately, it did not have a um, inflation factor, and so um, every year prices um, continue to go up, and the um, the amount is locked in. So with the assessment um, for one B and one A, you can see where there are twenty nine fifty and fifty six seventy two, and there's been zero change. Unfortunately, that is due to because of the way the district has been established. Well, at some point, then are they going to run out of money if they're spending? Fifty thousand dollars more than what they're they're bringing in. Uh, they have re ran out of money, and with um, where there's been a need for um, input from the general fund, and so uh, basically, the general fund subsidizes that account. Um, Mr. Mayor, there are certain areas of town that are uh, gateway entrances into our city that, frankly, we can't afford to see um, go downhill. So they, uh, we've looked at this area several times. Um, as Mr. Moody indicated, there's an inability without going back and asking for an increase in assessments. So we do target certain areas of town uh, to use funding from uh, our parks budget to uh, help the, uh, the funding of our, our medians and entryways. Through the mayor. Go ahead. Um, is, are these also the <clears throat> districts that... Um, had 218 process and it didn't get passed or something because I know we had some of them that did not occur 
Is that one of the situations? Is two eighteen to make changes on it? Um, there have been a couple of processes in the past. You, the, you're referring to this county process or the city process? City. Yeah, the city process went through and sought to adjust a number of different districts, and none of those were uh, approved, as I recall, for increase. Yeah. So. So everybody's paying in the city rather than the people that are receiving the actual direct service. Uh, so as of probably the early 90s, uh, a decision was made actually by many cities, any new development, um, the associated landscaping adjacent to it would be paid for by the new development. Um, then we reached a point where the realization became a um, little more background. Prop 218 um, said that any increases would have to go to a public vote. Prior to that, it was easier to adjust. Mm -hmm. And after that, that's when the CPI increases post-1996. CPI increases were uh, built in. So we do have some kind of somewhat, uh, I'll call orphaned, um, areas that, that have the inability to increase. Uh, so in a nutshell, Councilman, uh, Vice Mayor Cleveland, your, your comment is correct. That the, the rest of the community offsets that. Why is it appropriate from a staff perspective? Because these are the major gateways of our community. Uh, when there are areas within subdivisions, those are areas where frankly we do not use common funds from the general fund for, um, as an offset in any way. Okay. Thank you. Any further questions before I open it to the public? Open it for public hearing. Any member of the public wishes to speak to this may go to the podium. Um, let us know who you are. And you have three minutes. Pat Miller. I won't take three minutes. I just have a question. Um, it says... Uh, Yuba City Landscape Maintenance District Number One, and I should have done the research, is Stabler Lane Garden Highway, and I cannot figure out where those two intersect. So, so the district number is number one. It right. has Stabler Lane slash also Garden Highway is in that same district. Um, I think it's during the formation of the districts that. Uh, those two were joined together, and it, that's just a historical uh, number that was attached to those two back in, I believe, back in the late 80s. Is so when that it, was. It, it isn't necessarily that when you have a district lighting or maintenance district that it's contiguous to... No. So they're way far apart, and that's okay. Yeah, I... Okay. Again, I, I think this was uh, one of our first landscape maintenance districts. Um, excuse me? Yeah. But in a, it was also one well, of the We, we grouped them the together based ones. on um, similar use. So in that area, it has walls and landscaping compared to another area that might just have parkway strips. Hi, Hi. I'm Van Hill. I have a question for you. On the first resolution that you guys did, he mentioned that they were going to get a $20 decrease because they had 50% of their funds in there. But he didn't say anything on our district as to whether or not we're getting a decrease or you're asking for an increase. So we'll, we'll go I'm over... In district 4. Okay. We'll go over uh, District 4 uh, individually, and, and we'll have Ben uh, show that on the assessment. Okay. Thank you. So the previous resolution had to do with the Walton area and Terrebonne and just PG&E streetlights. If uh, District 4, uh, d depending on which zone she is in in District 4, A through D, um, there's some minor adjustments in there, um, 21 cents. 45 cents, 5 cents, and, and reduce in 9 cents, basically for an annual change. So, so if you're in D, you're making money. So if she's in District 4, there's going to be a fluctuation of a couple cents. Any other members of the public? 
close the public hearing, bring it back to council for action. Move for approval. Recommended action. Second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Sounded unanimous to me. Thank you very much, Ben.